Hi, Kyle. How are you? I'm great. Well, we're here to talk about the uh, the new music and this lovely new song you have called I Saved a Bird Today. Um, well, thank you. We'll jump right into it, too, because with a song like this, you know, it's such a specific little moment as a bird crashes through the win- into the window and you have to try to, I don't know, save its life. But, but we're really talking right. about a metaphor here, right? I think so. Um, it's basically, you know, um, who's saving who here? You know, we all need saving. And I, I think it's, uh, it's a juxtaposition of the craziness right now, I think. Um, uh, just the uncertainty of what's what's happening right now in the world, not just this country. And I think I would hate to think that caring, love, uh, looking after other people. I mean, there's a line in there, you know, is to to care for other people is the reason that we are here, you know. And it really is. That's what we're here for is to look after each other. And I think there's a severe lack of that right now. We've got this sort of split thing I, I mean again not just in this country worldwide of a uh, changing direction and um it just to me means you know um when when it comes down to it the most important thing is if you see someone who needs help an animal who needs help or a situation that needs help i i think we've got to you know we've got to put the hate in the back seat and and let's get down to sorting out how we can live together again, because I think it's just got to an insane level right now. With a song like this, and you come from an era where, you know, it seemed like every artist kind of took, you know, the charge to write socially reflective songs, which, I don't know, seemed to disappear for a long time. But have you been noticing it coming back more and more? Well, I think you will notice it coming back more and more um, at the moment because uh, of of this uncertainty. Um, we're in uncharted waters right now, and uh, I, I have great hope for new generations to see the light, and I, and I think they will, and I think they're rebelling already um, worldwide about this. And um, uh, it's just something that we're going through right now, and it, it's definitely a huge change. So I'm just hoping for the best. I like your optimism. I really like well, your optimism. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, w- with this song, though, you know, it's, as we're talking about, kind of making it that big thing. When you were writing it, I don't know, because you've got to make such a specific moment universal, right? I mean, that's what every songwriter tries to accomplish. I, I think so. And Gordon Kennedy and I wrote, um, wrote this song together, and he's a wonderful storyteller. It's, the story happened to me, but we both put it down in, in hopefully in the best way we could. Did the bird, did I save the bird or did the bird save me? Right. Because I, I, you know, there's that way of looking at it too. And there's a line in there also of, uh, of like, you know, me being put in a position to save, save an animal's life. Um, it, it's sort of the feeling when I took this bird down to the river, finally, after, uh, fighting to get it into a cardboard box because it was a huge bird and it, it only the 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 american coot only takes off from water which i found out from this lady on the phone who i had googled um <laughs> she said oh yeah that that bird only ta- that species only takes off from water so i had to put it in a box drive it down to the river and then show him the water or her the water and the thing knocked me over if it, it couldn't get in that water quick enough and then and then took off and that feeling uh, I didn't even, I was so in the moment, I didn't uh, get my camera, my phone out or anything to take a, a film of it or anything. But I have to say that that was one of the best moments of my life, seeing this thing that was virtually dead four hours earlier on my balcony is now flying away, you know, walking on water to take off. It's It's got all sorts of connotations, it you really know. It does. <laughs> <laughs> is, is is this a seed for the new album? I mean, I know it's now been, I don't know, what, two or three years, so that's, that's sort yeah, of a cycle, I, I right? Yeah, I don't think so. I think this is just something I, I... We wrote this, I called Gordon, I told him what happened. Then within the next uh, couple of days, I came up with the music, and then we got together and we started to put the song to... Uh, the story to the song. And um, so that was just a specific moment, and I felt so strongly about the song... You know, not that I'm not looking for a hit record. I'm just looking to put something new out there that has meaning to me, and it's very powerful for me and Gordon. And I hope other people see that. Um, 
Uh, as far as the next record, I've got so much stuff ready to, ready to record. So I think probably what I'll do in the fall after Steve's, uh, Steve Miller and I go out and we finish that tour, the, the band tour, um, that's when I'm going to go in my studio and, and start putting all these pieces together. Mm-hmm. And uh, hopefully, I don't know whether it's going to be instrumental, vocal, blues, jazz. I don't know what it's going to be yet. But uh, I've got lots of different types of music that I want to record. Yeah, I can't wait to hear it. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time today. And uh, again, I love the new song. I'll be looking forward to the tour, too. I'm going to try to grab a stop on it. So. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much. All right, take care, Peter. All right, bye for now. Bye.